What's going on guys? We're back with the VS410 Crawlmaster truck. Now tonight, rather than moving on and trying to finish the last things that I need to get done before it's actually drivable, I am planning on doing a little bit more on the detail and fabrication side. I had talked before about wanting to put a fuel cell in the back and I want to get that accomplished. But before that, I also want to do some aluminum work or some tin work. And I want to kind of fill in a lot of the areas around these tubes and more specifically behind the tubes to try and give the look of panels that would be inset on a full size rig that may be fabricated around uh, this style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going through and making cardboard templates first out of just uh, some, some thin cardboard. This for the aluminum, I'm gonna be using this, which is 025 thick aluminum sheet. This is a one foot square. You can get it at McMaster. Um, and for this is my one of my favorite materials to work with as far as this type of stuff goes. So we're going to cut our cardboard templates, get them fit into the chassis, do our trimming, things like that. And then we'll transfer those templates to the aluminum. We'll cut it out with just some regular tin snips finish off any edges just with a little bit of sanding and sanding block and then we'll probably grain the aluminum just to give it that brushed look. As far as attachment in the rear I'm going to use the shock mounts to attach it on the sides and then I've got a center piece in the back there and I may either add some tabs on the inside and attach it to the side pieces either with like a rivet possibly or some double-sided tape it's, it's hard to say uh, we'll get we'll you know we'll climb that hill when we get there but once I get that all closed in it'll allow me to easily close up the final top part with a fuel cell and it'll look really nice and complete I also want to add a little bit of aluminum up in the front section as well I'd like to try and completely fill in this entire area uh, behind the tube work I don't know if I'll be able to because of how tight I get to the servo on the driver's side but I may be able to really work the aluminum around it. I've got a couple of my templates already worked up and what I'd like to do is, you know, fit these in. I've got one done for, for each side here, front and rear. And then I'll compare that to the other side and see if I can make uh, an aluminum panel work on each side with the same template or not, or if I just need to make some very minor adjustment. But that's what I'd like to get accomplished tonight at the very least, getting all of the aluminum attached and my 3D printed fuel cell uh, or at least the 3D printed fuel cell lid kind of in there and, and hopefully it's exactly what I'm looking for. My shipment of stuff from A-Main was delayed by UPS so my paint is not here yet so I can't get anything done on the body. I was hoping to also incorporate the ESC mount into some of this aluminum work in the front so we'll see how all of this works out um, once we actually get into fabrication. <music>
pin work all done in the rear and a 3D printed fuel cell cap temporarily in place. Probably gonna have to make some modifications to that to make sure it fits how I want to and add in some mounting tabs rather than actually doing a bottom half of it. I'm just gonna do a fake lid and that's all. With the body on, that whole rear bed is gonna look nice and closed up. The only thing that you'll be able to see is in through that area on the inside. So I think I may work on adding a separate panel to help cover that up. Once that's done, the actual cosmetic stuff for the chassis should be completely done. Um, and I'll just be needing to paint the body and then figure out all of my electronics. So tonight I wasn't able to get the battery tray done, but I got all of the tin work done pretty happy with how it turned out. And I think once the body is painted, it's going to be much more effective at uh, really completing the look. But until then, I think it's still, you know, it hides the servos nice up front. You don't see through this body as much. And I think the rear truggy area, now that it's nice and closed off, really looks a lot better. Now the SMT interior that I'm using is smaller than the whole cab opening area. So, I'm not sure yet. Once I get the body painted and we can see how it looks through the windows, we'll see what my final decision is there. I think I might want to put some sort of front dash extension on it, but I need to be able to get into the area in front of it to be able to put the battery in and out. So I'm thinking if I do something up there, it'll be some sort of flexible uh, type material or I might attach it to the body. I need to 3D print a new fuel cell cap. This is an old 3D printed version. I'm gonna do one that doesn't have any screw holes or anything like that in the top because um, I'm just gonna kind of get it stuck in place and try and put some tabs down on the inside so I can just double stick tape it to the inner fenders that I made. So the biggest thing I have to do now is fabricate the final battery tray and I really need to get the electronics in there. This isn't quite as eventful of an update as the previous ones, but we might as well follow this build through until the end. We don't have that much longer. It's not this weekend, but next weekend when the actual event is. So uh, just a few things to get done before then, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what the final outcome is. I did choose my paint color. It's gonna be fairly simple as far as that goes, but I do need to get the body you know, sanded and in its final state before we really take that step. I do have the fender bolts in on this currently to get the body pinched in so you can see the look. The wheels do rub on those fenders and I think I am gonna go ahead and trim off that very outside edge so that there is still a fender showing, but it's not gonna have that uh, the, as much depth as it did currently. I am actually really surprised at how light this thing still is. You know, it's my VS410 from underneath. And there's not much body weight now, you know, being that the old interior was much larger, the old body was much larger. It had, you know, details in the interior and the grill and the radiators, things like that. Um, and, you know, for then, but then of course I added all the tube. But and with a forward bias, even at this point, as I do have more weight to add that's going to be in the front. So uh, overall, I'm super happy with how this truck is coming out. If you guys have any other final suggestions to make before uh, we really wrap this thing up, now's the time because there's uh, there's not much left and it's, it's looking pretty good. Thanks as always for all the comments on the last one, guys. I super appreciate it. Hopefully you guys like this one and want to follow this build through as well. So that's all I got for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see them as soon as they pop up. And we'll see you on the next one.